most people have no clue and I mean no clue how incredible Nasna is in this video I want to show you some of the most incredible things that you can do when you've got about 60 hours or so to visit the small town on the garden route in the Western Cape in this video you are going to get an eclectic spread of pizza gin wine farm sunset sessions forest and much much more this video is going to show you how to act like a tourist in your own city in your own country without question see you now technique called? Cool. Yeah, that's the the shot is all that matters technique. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the shot was supposed to include you. <laughs> How's that buttock holding up? The left buttock. If you look in this area right here, that's the buttock that's been giving me a little bit of hassle oh, yeah? on this drive. I mean, not all of us have had the opportunity to snooze and yeah, I've just been soldiering on like the incredible human that I am. After 12 hours of driving, I can officially announce that we have arrived in Nasna. Now we went straight to the loft, put our bags down, a little more on that later. But the official first stop when you have 60 hours in Nasna is you get your ass straight down to the Nasna Gin Distillery on a Friday night. Let me show you. Okay, a few gins in, we're not going to stop it there, but what I love about the gin bar is that it's situated right next to Mayad's Bakery. Now, I have been dreaming about this place because I'm a pizza fanatic, and to have these two places like literally next to each other is what makes the whole journey on a Friday night to Nasna just the best thing ever. I was last year in December. This is easily top three of my favorite pizzas ever and I've been drooling. I, I cannot actually put into words how excited I am to get into those doors and just order a whole bunch of pizza and stuff it down my face. Yeah. I'm gonna unhook my jaw for these pizzas and put them all down at once. Day two, here at the Lofts Boutique Hotel in Gaza. You know, the more I come to this place, the truth is, I just love it more and more. It is beautiful in every regard. I just need more South Africans to know about the Lofts. This greenhouse effect that they've got going on here, the deck, which we'll show you a little bit more about later, this new restaurant that they've got called Nest. But it's day two. I think we're gonna go kick off with a, a little breakfast at Il de Pan, which is right uh, behind us. This is uh, Ian Dwayner, this is one of my besties and uh, a few years ago he was meant to be here for like three months before he went off to Bali and he's never left. He's the reason I am so befuck about uh, Nasna. But he got sick last night. Did you get the shits? I did get the shits. They <laughs> <laughs> said so you're supposed to be in all this content with us at Gin Bar and Pizza. Yeah, and no, no, we had, we had, I had ramped it up, I had ramped everything up. We had plans, we had uh, itineraries, and uh, nature got in the way. Nature but, got in the way, but we, it's not stopping us today. No, we're here now. Cheers, big boy. We're back on the train. Uh, Coffee cheers. in hand.
Ready? Mm. It's the mushroom, the creamy mushroom sauce. Seriously, yeah. that is what puts this whole thing together. Yeah. Oh my lord. So they, they'll light a fire at, at night and then it'll heat up the oven and then when it dies down, the residual heat is what they'll use to bake in the morning. Paul from Mallard's Bakery that does the pizza actually learned his trade here at Il de Paul. So they cook the pizzas in the evening and that gets the, the, the heat going and then they let it die overnight and that residual heat is what they'll bake all the sourdough with in the morning. The mayor of Nasna. He needs a drop top. What can go wrong? <laughs> Okay, Maya. Yo. So we wanted to show people how beautiful Nazna is and how diverse it is. Where are we? Why are we here? And where are we going to next? Uh, so we are under Milkwood, just off Leisure Isle. And kind of the reason I brought you guys here is because Nazna doesn't actually have a natural beach. So when the tide is low, you can come onto the estuary or onto the lagoon and you find this whole natural beach area that you can come and chill and have like a nice day with the family or a nice day with yourself. In summer, we come here with the boats or you can just literally walk out over this whole open area of flatland. Yeah. So where we are now, we just go straight up to the top of the heads and then look back on, yeah, I don't know, the beauty that is Nasdaq. The fucking beauty, let's go do it. Nah, it's okay. Oh my good luck. Jeez, that is... So when I first started Like a Tourist, it was for moments like these. I wanted to give people a sense and show them rather than tell them about the most beautiful places on planet Earth, especially here in South Africa. So this is the viewpoint? Yeah, this is the east head of uh, the Nasna Heads, the viewpoint at the top of the East Head Cafe. One of the most stunning views in the country, I think. Beautiful place to come alone with a lover, with a friend, get nostalgic, do some thinking. And you would look at, I mean, this is just... It's mind-bending. I wish you could see this with your own eyes. So one of my favorite reasons for staying at the loft isn't just that the hotel is beautiful, but uh, they have these sunset sessions when the weather turns right. It's basically on this deck, on the lagoon, with the sunset. You're all three playing. I'm the only one who's not DJ. What's going on? <laughs> Anyone that's shown restraint to not become a DJ. Yeah. Uh, the whole of Joburg, actually. Yes, out of the whole of Joburg. But you guys are going to carry it. Me I'm on right now. I'll carry the weight. Don't worry. And what are we expecting from you, big boy? Oh, smooth. Smooth. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> smooth. Is that the 
hanging on. It is. <laughs> Just a quick but massive shout out to KLM for helping make this 60 Hours in NASA video possible in the first place. Even though they're an international airline, they have totally got behind the idea of us producing wonderful local content about South Africa. That's why they're amazing. Let's get back to the video. Day three with the mayor of Lasna. Day two was insane. Spectacular. Okay. And we're sitting at breakfast at Nest, which is located inside the Lost Boutique Hotel. And we've got the married couple with us, Oki and Sharice. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> These two arrived on their own accord in Nasna. You guys ended up staying in the hotel room that overlooks the lagoon. I can't remember what it's called. We're in the tower and you literally open the curtains and you put the lagoon right there. And it's the best experience ever. That was that experience there, Mark. <laughs> Any good? Huh? Like an egg salad. If you start the lot over a weekend, you get the best of both worlds. You get Ilda Pond on a Saturday morning for breakfast, and then you get Nest on Sunday for mm. breakfast. And for me, those two. So we've got quite a day, wine farms, the mayor is showing us around with his binti. Can't wait to show you what we've got going on. Let's go for a little forest walk. All right, Angel Pass. Thank you. The mayor, so the mayor, the mayor says, says listen. taken us to <laughs> <laughs> quick forest walk. We're on our way to some wine farms, but we thought we'd get in some healthy activity first. So eat, pray, love, uh, baby. Breathe it in. Nice in the forest. Here we go. Okay. sets you in the most incredible way when you take this like kilometer or two walk in nature the bridges the water it's just the most beautiful reset if i lived in nasna i would be here every weekend before or after whatever we're doing it's just it's my man Gums, yeah. So all the blue gums aren't indigenous to the area and the aliens. A lot of the areas will actually be cutting down the blue gums and reforesting the area. So you'll see like there's no big vegetation underneath the blue gum because it sucks all the moisture out of the ground and goes straight in. That's why they're so much taller than the other trees and they grow so much faster. But they kill all the other vegetation around them. They're also much more flammable, which is crazy. And in the Nasna forest fires, the forest was swarmed where there were blue gums and where there was plantations of pine. But then as it hit the indigenous forest, it only went five meters in and it stopped. Really? So the indigenous forest can't burn. It's too wet, it's too, it's, yeah, it just doesn't go in. So the, we are, the more actual real forest we have, the better it is for the area, as we all know.
But the thing about wine farms is when people think wine, they think France, France. Hook, they think. <laughs> <laughs> well, France, fine. Yeah. They think French Hook, they think Stellenbosch, but I don't think people fully realize how beautiful the wine farms are on the garden route. Now, this is 60 hours in Nasna. We just thought the weekend wouldn't be the same without some wine. And the first time I actually ever came here was because of the mayor and Lex. Two years ago, they're like, listen, we're taking you on a weekend of pure Thanks. pleasure and you have to come to Bramon. And that is exactly where we are. We started with a little bit of bubbly. bubbles. Cheers to you, team. Cheers. Like a, like a weekend. We'll continue to show you the beauty right now. This is, this is special. We actually came here in December and we couldn't get a table because it was so full. And so Lundy's saying to me like, man, I can't believe we didn't come here, but this is how popular this place is. Okay, so we're at Newstead. And I know you're not supposed to compare, but I love it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's <laughs> probably my number one in the area. So I think it's not fair to compare because they're different. The Ramon vibe is much more like a farmhouse, antique, and there's a total place for it. But when the sun is shining like this, and you get here to Newstead, that's a win. done a great job this weekend uh, showing us all the spots. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> He's dead. That was amazing. He had trouble finding parking for his yacht. Oh, shit. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It happens, but you know what? People have to go through some hard things in their lives. I went through one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe that our 60 hours have come to an end here in Lasna. And as I reflect on this weekend, it's actually hard to put into words. You know, I watch so many of these YouTube videos about travel destinations, and now I realize just how difficult it is to say in words how magical, almost how spiritual, a place like Nasna has been over the last 60 hours. My team and I have had the best time with the natural beauty, the sunsets, the pizza, the gin, the Lofts Boutique Hotel, the forest walks, the wine, the wine farms. I mean, there are so many things that I could talk about, but here's my point. No matter what I do, and no matter what I say to you, it won't make sense until you get into a car or on a plane and you come to Nasna and you experience it for yourself. I hope this video inspires you to do just that. Until next time. Thank you.